I thought we did. We had some good pitch selection early, uh, even though um, wasn't quite as sharp as we wanted to be. But uh, made some good pitches in some good spots to get some ground balls, and then we just, I, I think we just settled in. Um, just a little more concise, efficient through the delivery, and uh, some of the good stuff started started showing up. Is it a nice luxury to, to get an ample amount of run support this afternoon? It was a luxury to turn all the double plays. I, we had we played we played our tails off on defense today. That was fun fun to be a part of. Um, you know, we we pitched ourselves into a, a, a few ground balls for sure. We, we we tried to force a couple double plays and and it worked out for us, which is that's exciting. Um, and then the offense uh, to really you know finish Cease's day and. And give us a sizable lead was was uh, cherry on top. Obviously, there were other guys involved, but just how good is Gio Urshela at third base? I know he started a lot of those double plays. Yeah, I mean, he's uh, he's just so ready to make a great play every pitch. Uh, really, today as a group, I, I thought we were locked in. You know, turn a double play. It, it, it's more than just Gio. He gets it started. But, um, you know, Rugi, Glaber up the middle, they were sharp. Um had some balls deep into the shift. I had to make some good plays on. So all in all, everybody played a great day. Obviously, Geo starting those off was, was fantastic. We'll take the next one from Dave Lennon. Hey, Garrett, just that, that one stretch you went through, I think it was in the third, where you had walked a couple guys that inning, and then it was three out of six, which is so unusual. I, I was just wondering what, you know, was it a strike zone that you were kind of getting used to still, or – what was happening with you during that during that stretch? Well, I just think, you know, when we were making a good pitch, it seemed to seem to not go our way. We either didn't get a fire on it, or it was uh, a smidge off the corner. And then there were some, you know, rather large misses, uh, rather large misses there. I mean, you know, it, I, I th we started the game off with. Uh, you know, the three fastballs. We had one that just missed the corner down and away, one kind of over the plate that we got by him, and one, you know, up on the corner away that just missed the plate again. And it was just kind of those kind of sequences early until we really started to get a rhythm where we started to really put the ball on the corner uh, three, four, five times in a row. And, you know, we went over the plate when, when we felt either they weren't swinging or we had an opportunity to challenge somebody. So it just started matching up a little better uh, uh, along with the command allowed us to do that. And just after you came out in the middle of the seventh, it seemed like you were laughing a, a lot about something. I, I, don't, I don't know what happened. Usually when they show you in the dugout, you always have kind of the game face on. I know your day was over, but did somebody say something funny to you or what was uh, just, going on there? I hadn't had a, I hadn't had a chance to give, give Monty some praise since I took off here early. So I was just taking the opportunity to razz him a little bit and tell him how good I thought he pitched and uh, making a, cracking a few jokes that I had in my back pocket since last night.